Hey guys, Kelvin here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to put uh, a GameCube USB controller, as you can see right here, USB controller onto your Mac or Windows so you could play GameCube games. So, uh, I got mine on, on eBay for about $20. And it works, it has everything working. Okay. The only problem is on the C stick, if you go right or left, it won't work. But everything else works. Like left, the left triggers right here, and the Z button. So, sorry about my dog, he's just in here with me. And also, you'll get this little CD uh, with a little profile. I don't know what it is. I haven't put it in yet, but it contains something, yeah. Um, hey, dog. No, stop it. So, basically, uh, this is how it is right here. Let me unravel it really quick. The core is about six feet long, as I think it said on the box. Uh, I don't know if the box with me right now. I think we threw it away. But here it is. The whole Oh, GameCube controller, and yeah, about six feet, I don't know if it's like six feet or something, but yeah, so let's try it out, and I'll show you guys how to put it in. Okay, so now we have our GameCube controller right here, all plugged in, and yeah, so basically once you go into uh, Dolphin or whatever emulator you're using, you could be using a... Uh, and Nintendo 64 because you can use your GameCube controller for an N64. Um, well, we're just going to use Dolphin right now. So on Dolphin, you got to go to GC Pad. And probably everything will be clear. You have some bind on your keyboard. But you want to go into the device and find your GameCube controller. For me, the GameCube controller is the USB joystick. Got to click on that. And I need to calibrate it. But, whenever I get into a game, um, I have to recalibrate it because for some reason it will not work. I don't know why, it's just I have to recalibrate it once more. But I do all the right step steps, but I have to do it again. So I go on to Options, GameCube, Pad Settings. Then on here, you gotta recalibrate it. Make sure you have uh, Background Input checked. And we gotta calibrate it. So A goes A. B goes B, X goes X, Y goes Y, and so forth. So let's calibrate everything. Sorry about if you can hear my dogs, dogs or or sister in the background. There's some people outside that they can hear, and they don't like that. And let's go. So if yours will not work, you gotta do the same thing here. You gotta have uh, an options background input on. You gotta go on Dolphin configure and go on the GameCube. Make sure port one's on standard controller. Click OK. I have mine on pause, so I'm gonna play it and then press start. And there you go, it's working. So let's get into like a little match right here. So here you go. It really it all works. Let's just do a little quick match right here. Not too long. So the controllers work right here. A the B or hold on. The B the R the left, Z, oh Z for grab, did not know that, Y and X work, and yeah, so if you're tired of playing a lot of, what's it called, uh, a lot of games on your keyboard, sorry, lost train of thought right there, uh, yeah, if you like, if you don't like playing on your uh, keyboard, 
Yeah, hold on. Yeah, it's kind of tiresome. Like for me, I I've, I'd always change the key binds on my uh, for my controls because it's really annoying sometimes. So let me just pause that. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.